Hey guys, uh, May Bon here. Hope you guys are all doing well. This is the second video I have made and in this video I'm going to be talking entirely about the assignments, the Great Pottery Throwdown video and quiz that goes along with it, along with the um, Principles of Design scavenger hunt assignments, okay? That's what this entire video is about. Alright, so let me go into, um, let's open up for our period three okay so at the top of google classroom you'll see the most recent posts okay the most recent thing that i've put on google classroom is the option to retake the great pottery throwdown quiz if you want to okay so if you took the quiz and and you didn't get a perfect score go ahead and retake it okay and what i highly recommend is um you know open up the quiz and the video at the same time and kind of go back and forth um focus on one at a time and uh, be a lot easier for you to get all the answers correctly, okay? All right, so if you haven't taken this quiz yet and you haven't watched the video, you're gonna wanna scroll a little bit further down Google Classroom, okay? And then down here is the first time I posted this video. It's the same video here, okay? Season one, episode two, that's the same one that's posted on top. All right, and then down below is the first try quiz, okay? So the Great Pottery Throwdown video quiz, first try, right there. So either one you wanna take, start out with the first one, please. Go to classwork, and then open up the Great Pottery Throwdown quiz or the retake if you took it already. But please start here, and then go ahead and open the assignment. And take a look before you start watching the video, okay? Um, when you do fill it in, you're going to need to put your full name and then answer each of the questions. They're all multiple choice. One thing about this quiz is that they're all in order uh, from beginning to end of the video. So focus on one at a time, okay? That's the key to getting these all correct. Look at the first question. What is their main make in this episode? Is it a teapot? Is it a wash basin? Is it tiles or is it something else? Keep that in mind. Then go back to Google Classroom main page and then you can use any of these links okay it is pg-13 so that's why it says warning so you can use that or that either one should open right up and then you just push the play button it starts playing okay so watch the video until you get to that first question once you find out what the answer is then go back to the quiz fill in your answer kind of go back and forth that way you're going to get the answers correct okay if you try to watch the whole video and then go back and take the quiz there's a good chance you're going to forget some of the answers some of these are kind of technical okay like you might forget um there's one that a lot of people forget like the percentage of uh shrinkage and stuff like that or um, which period did the coiling techniques come from and stuff like that. You know, you might forget the answer. So just do that one at a time and you'll do fine. Okay. All right. The other assignment that I put up was the um, principles of design scavenger hunt right here. All right. So I have a couple things here. So down here are some examples that might help you. Um, you, the, and these are optional for you guys to look at. Okay, so these are the slides that show each principle along with um, the definition and a picture to show what it is. This over here is the document. A lot of we had these in the classroom printed on paper, pretty much the same thing. It just shows the definition and the small image kind of that goes along with the definition. Okay, and then down here is my example of what your slide, what the slides could look like when you're done. Okay, so that you know kind of what you're going for. All right, so let's start by opening up the assignment. So again, go to classwork, and then here's the principles of design scavenger hunt. Go ahead and open that up. And this is basically um, like a template you're gonna fill in these slides, okay? So the first one, start out by putting your name, go ahead and delete these. You know, just highlight, pull those out, delete, put your name in first and last. You can change the font, change the color, stuff like that then I know whose it is. All right, then this page is the directions. I know, it's, I know it's a lot of words, okay, but please read these, okay? The students that have done this assignment without reading the directions, I had to send it back to them because they did not do it correctly, okay? So I'm going to go over this briefly. The purpose of this assignment is to look further into the different nine principles of design we're going to be studying, okay? Each page has a different principle on it, and again, there's nine of them. So you're going to find um, images that go along with each principle. You don't even have to find the definition. I provide the definition for you guys, okay? So it's mostly you going around taking photos of things around your house or in your yard that kind of match up with the principles. All right, over here, the rules. Do not take a photograph of somebody else's artwork, like a poster or framed work of art or something like that. 
without being able to give them credit, you need to, um, in the description, tell me who made the artwork, um, you know, the artist's name, you know, things like that. If you don't know the artist's name, please find something else. You can only use one or two of those, okay? Please don't fill all the slides with photographs of somebody else's artwork, okay? One or two is fine, but no more than that. The other option is to photograph your own artwork, okay? It could be drawings, um, paintings, ceramics, doesn't matter, but you should have your initials on those or a signature. Um, okay, so again, only one or two of those. So maybe one photo of your artwork and then one photo of a poster on your wall, okay? Everything else should be photos of things from around the house that you go around and photograph. As for the photos, you can use your um, camera on your Chromebook, you can use your phone, you know, whatever you can where you can transfer your photos into the slides, okay? All right. And we've gone over the how to do those in the class. So if you have questions about how to get your photos on here, um, you have to contact me about that. All right. So please um, make sure your lens is clean. Try to keep close up photos. Um, and really important in your photo, you need to have um, your signature on a piece of paper or your student ID included in the photo. So say my signature is on here. I'm going to put it on the corner of the screen so that I, I can prove that I took the photo. It's not actually have my signature on it. You guys get the point. Or your student ID is fine. Either way. All right. Um, so the thing is, no, you cannot just Google images. You need to photograph them. Include your um, student ID or signature on those. All right, and you can also see my example that I just showed you guys. We can take a deeper look at that if you want to. Again, so each page has different uh, principles, movement, emphasis, balance, and so on and so on. Okay, so I'll just stop at this one. So this one is all about scale and proportion. This box is where you're going to put your photo. Okay, just make sure um, these are just reminders. You make sure your ID is in the photo or a signature, and then delete these directions so that the, these are not visible when you put your photo in. So please, when you're ready, highlight those script those out of the way and put your photo in there. All right, over here, I give you guys the definition for each principle, okay? So here is the definition for scale and proportion. It is the relative size of an object as compared to other objects, a setting or people, okay? Then down here, you're gonna fill in with your description of what your photo is and how it relates to that definition, basically, what, what it, how it relates to that principle. So um, you're gonna delete these directions where it says here you will describe your photo, delete these directions, fill them in with your description, please, using blue font. I even give you an example down here on some of the slides, okay, I give an example. So you could say the sculpture scene here has a large head in comparison to the body or something like that, okay. But again, any examples or just or definition, I mean, um, examples, please delete these or di these directions, okay, when you turn it in. All right, so um, let me go back and show you the um, example, okay. All right, so on Google Classroom, on the main page is my example, examples here. So if you know, you can look at these in your own time. I'm just going to show you um, a couple of examples so you know what you're supposed to do. All right, so here is uh, my name. I changed the font and the you know size and color, and then I each of these I filled in the photos and um, definitions. And you guys can look at these on your own. But the one I was showing you guys a second ago was uh, scale and proportion. So here's my version. So what I did is I grabbed some bottles of paint, or actually it's underglaze I had in my house. I lined those up so that the one closest to the front was bigger, the ones further to the back were smaller, and that is my version of scale and proportion. There's different ways to do it, that's one way, okay? And then I, here's my description. Scale and proportion is seen here by comparing the size of the bottles as they seem to get smaller when they are further away and bigger towards the front. One sentence is good to go, okay? And you can leave the definition up there, okay? All right, so then um, you're gonna do each of those um, slides, okay? That's, that's why I'm giving you guys plenty of time to do this. Many students did it in one day, just fine. Some want more time, that's fine. That's why I'm giving you guys um, lots of time, okay? If you need more time, go ahead and turn it in late. Um, please let me know when you turn things in late so that I know um, that you turned it in, okay? All right, so then the very last page, you just give a brief reflection of what you learned, okay? Which will look like this on your end. So please write a brief description, what surprised you, what was easy or challenging, just a little reflection. The last page just shows you how I'm gonna grade this, okay? You don't need to fill this in, I even highlighted it. This is to be filled out by Miss Maybon, okay? 
If you if you um, don't do well on this, what I'll typically do is just send it back to you to fix it up because I don't want something like this to affect your grade. And, I, and I'm being very lenient on this, okay? I'm not going to be too critical since I'm not there with you to answer questions and walk you around and you know help you do the best you can. But if you really go off in the wrong direction, I'll probably send it back to you and let you fix it and turn it in so that you can get a good grade on it, okay? So just do the best you can on that. All right, so let me go back here. So those are the two assignments that we have as of now. I will be adding more videos and fun activities um, soon. So just stay posted um, and email me any questions you guys have about that or you know, write your comments on Google Classroom. And um, I hope you guys are doing well and uh, keep up the good work, okay? Thank you.